Hello everybody. Uh, the last time somebody posted something like this on Reddit, there was a lot of questions to how easy it was to set up. So I'm going to go over the OBD Link MX and the Archon mounting system. Um, a tablet I ended up getting free for Black Friday is the Ellipsis 8 from Verizon, which is what actually gave me the ability to get the rest of this stuff. I really didn't want to use my phone. Um, as you can see, I haven't opened anything. This, when it came, was already opened and ripped open, so I'm hoping nothing's broken there. But we'll see how that goes. The Archon did come in this cheesy packaging, but the reviews were very good for it. It was one of the best mounting systems, so let me get everything out, and we'll get back to it. Okay, I got everything out. It seems like nothing is broken. So this is the back plate for the mount. You can see has that L shape in it right there that seems to be where these little holders slide in with that L shape unfortunately I only have one hand so you won't see me doing that and then it seems to just click in to the base right there on those two slots in the back so hopefully that'll work easy the link came with instructions but it was all for its own software so we're just going to skip that. I've already downloaded the software I'm going to be using on the tablet. Um, and hopefully I'll show you the setup of that if I can do it properly. But that's what this video is for, to see if a regular person knows how to do it. So after playing around with it for a little bit, I decided to take the case off and it mounted up there. It takes a lot of the view away out of the windshield, but that's just mounting. It's sturdy in there. There's no way that it's going to bounce about, I hope. Um, so now it comes to the link, which is going to be underneath here, or here, I don't know if you guys can see it, I don't think so. Go ahead and plug it in. Open the door to do this. There we go. Alright, looks like it's plugged in. Let's turn the key to the on position. With the car not started and the battery should come up. And the lot the ID anything. channel? But yeah. it, let's turn that off. There's the power supposed to come up, but I don't see anything. Then again, that's why I'm making the video. Let me reread the instructions. So it kind of just pulled out. I'm thinking it wasn't plugged in the whole way. So, Well, there's a power light, but I didn't get a click. I kind of want to click. It's still kind of sitting further in. No click, but it's in there and more secure and lights are on. So, And the car's off. So I'm going to turn it on and see what happens here. I believe that's what the instructions say is supposed to happening. BT blue light is slowly flashing, so let's go to the pad and see if we can link it. Sorry about the camera, by the way. It's just a cell phone. Like I said, this is the Ellipsis 8, so it's Verizon's cheap pad, so it's probably going to be slow. It's the first time I'm opening the app, by the way. So. You guys are going to get to see everything. GPS not enabled. No. Uh, you know what? We probably have to link it through Bluetooth first. So let's try that. Ooh, Bluetooth. Let's go ahead. It's already on. DVT? Is that what this is supposed to say? No, OBD. Oh, I'm supposed to hit the button on the link. Let's hit that. The light's flashing faster now. Let's go ahead and hit search for devices. Oh, there it is. So I'm click that. It says pairing. Let's see. Make sure it shows this pass key. It doesn't have a screen, so we're just going to hit pair. And it seems like it's paired. Let's go back to Torque, which is the app I'm using. 
on defaulting to paired OBD link. I think it picked it up. So there's no profile set up in that corner over there. So we need to set up a profile possibly. Can I click over there? Maybe the settings down here in the corner. Oh, there we go. Vehicle profiles. Create new profile. I'm sorry, this is probably blurry for you guys. There we go, let's call it Mazda. So as I'm touching the screen, I'm notice that it's kind of moving back and forth like this. Hopefully that doesn't go. Personalization is on. I don't care about any of this right now. Share next. Next, next, next. Make that go away. Go away, there we go. I'll play with all that later. Save. All right, paired to that. Let's see if I turn the car on if anything happens. Ah. And it's linked, I guess. Real-time information, possibly. That was much easier than I thought it was going to be. It seems like we can swipe down. Quarter mile time, zero to 60. So I guess it can measure some things while we go. Misfire, it seems to have all the emission readings, but it's not showing an error, which is weird, because I know I have one due to some modifications that I made, so. Maybe that's a different screen that I'm not looking at. Sorry, that was my wife calling. Apparently she needs me to run out and go get something, so... I guess we'll see what happens. And like I said, that was my first time opening Torque, so... Everything went quite well. Let's give it a rev and see what happens here. A little bit laggy, you can hear from the sound of the engine revving and the actual revs on the screen, but uh, the throttle responded pretty well. A little laggy, but what do you expect? It's Bluetooth, but pretty easy to set up. One last thing, all the shaking that you're seeing is probably my hand, but it sits very well. It does not move. But it does take up a lot of the window, as you can see, hopefully from back here. But it's not too bad overall. I haven't really gotten to play with it. I just finished the other videos. So, we'll see how it goes and I'll give a report back in probably about a week. Playing with this, the more I'm realizing the delay isn't that bad. If you watch the uh, tachometer on both of them, it's the top left and the left one. It's pretty damn near close. So it's nothing that I would fault it for too much, but uh, like I said, it's a Bluetooth link, so it's going to be a little slow, we all know that. But other than that, it's uh, held in place quite well. There's no shaking at all. I went over some pretty good speed bumps, and there's just nothing to it. The mount holds very well.